Down and let her go. Now, now, Mr. Price. You don't want little Miss Princess to get at now, do we? Come on, just, just do what he says. Nah, that's a smart woman. Okay. Okay. I'm lowering my weapon. Just put the knife, take the knife from her throat. <laughs> she said I had to because of what you did when you ran over her mom. Tell her! Congratulations, my queen. Listen, I'm beyond proud. Hey, my lady, she's making balls. Hey, I just have to take this real fast. Hey, what's up? Jesus Christ. What is that? Four in the past two weeks? Hey, does this one have one? Another watch? Yeah. And this watch is marked at 11 on the dot. Okay. So this is like all the other homicides took place exactly 45 minutes ago. You got it, partner. Hey, look. Captain really wants us to stay on top of this, so you better get down here. Okay. I'm on the way. I know. I know. It's supposed to be a special night. Y'all go running off. Look, no apologies needed. Just come home to me and. Yeah, one piece. I know. And I will. Hey, look, with everything that's going on, you just go straight home, okay? I mean it. I love you. I love you more. Hey, sorry to interrupt you on the wife, but you know how the captain is. Yeah, so what we got? Same as the other murders, but this watch is set to 11. Okay, so there is a pattern, right? Right? Then the first victim was a 7, 8, 9, 10, and now 11. I don't know, Mom, but what does that mean? So I'm guessing the next victim is going to be at 12, but is that going to be 12 noon or 12 midnight? Why these people? What's the connect? Why does dispatch always get a call exactly 45 minutes later? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so I'm taking it to watch shows 11. But it was reported at 11.45, right? Exactly. See. Okay. All right, so obviously there is a pattern. But it's like it, it doesn't make sense. Like, it serves no purpose. Um, okay, so the previous two victims were at night. The rest of them were in the daytime, and now those... Okay. All right, so if I had to guess, I would say 12 noon. Uh, would be the next homicide, but what day? Right? 
And like you say, what is the connect between all the victims? Hey, it's Charlotte calling. Oh, damn, I left my phone in the car. <laughs> yeah, you're in serious trouble now, partner. Hey, Charlotte, I bet you're calling to... Oh, what's on? I need to talk to... Let, let me talk to Lamont. Okay, okay. He's right here. No problem. Charlotte, she's gonna talk to you. Hey, I'm sorry, babe. I jumped off the car, left my phone in there, and I ran over. Who could I could? Babe, I, I, I didn't go straight. <laughs> Charlotte. Detective Price. Who in the hell is this? Detective Price, your wife is such a beautiful woman. And again, I say, who in the hell is this? Detective Price, I will listen very carefully if I'm wrong. It'd be a shame if she. Happened to what? How should I say this? Die. You sick son of a- Now, now, detective. Let's keep our temper intact and our thoughts on the end results. I swear, if you lay one hand on my wife, I will hunt you down like the- Detective. Prince and promises. Prince and promises will get you in. William is Julie. I got a problem and I need a favor. Put a trace on my cell phone. Look, I don't have time to explain. Just do it, okay? So now that I have your attention, detective, you will follow these instructions. If I sense anything outside of these instructions, your wife, Charlotte, will be waiting for you with a pool of blood. Are we on the same page? Yes. Good boy, detective. So, let's keep this real simple. My timing is correct. You are currently at the crime scene at the corner of Railroad and First. From there, you will have 15 minutes to get to the top of the garage on a simple street. Yeah, I know what that is. Very good, detective. Your time will start 30 seconds after this phone call. Destroy your partner's phone. We don't want any interruptions, now do we, detective? No. William, tell me if you got the trace. Listen, all this fine What do you mean you explained that you just broke my phone, Lamont? Lamont, don't do it! Now, do we? Lamont, just, just do what he said. Nice. Nice. Smart. Woman! Okay. Okay! I'm lowering my weapon. Put the knife, take the knife from her throat. <laughs> she said I had to because of what you did when you ran over her mom and killed her. Don't, 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 hey! Babe. 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 Babe, wake up. Babe, you dozed off. You did? Yes, you did. The movie just started and you dozed off. Listen, I'm getting popcorn. You want some? Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. The weirdest dream. Oh yeah? What was dreaming about? I dreamt that you would. I was what, babe? No more. I mean, it's just this job. This job is stressing me out. You know, and it's like I'm, I'm trying. You know, it's like I'm trying to save the world. And just, 
just knowing I can't. You, you can't what? I don't know. She's like, I can't. I can't. You, you can't what, babe? Just can't. Can't what? Save me? What? No, no, no! Charlotte! Charlotte! again so I couldn't really sleep you know. what time is it it's about 8 40 here partner we need to get our early start so we can get that paperwork in before we hit the street oh okay yeah, yeah. um yeah just uh just give me a few minutes and uh, I'll be right there okay I'll see you at the precinct all right You look like you got caught between the sledgehammer and the nail, you know that? Huh? You okay? You had a long night? Nah, I told you that uh, the neighbors were fighting all night, so I didn't really get any rest. <laughs> the way you look, it looks like they've been fighting all week. I'm good. <sighs> Come on, partner, it's me. It was those dreams again, wasn't it? Look. I know you may think you had this under control, but it might not be a bad idea to talk to a shrink. And I told you I'm not talking to a shrink. Okay, I said I'm good. Trust me. I'll be all right. Okay. So I'm here if you need me, okay? Price, wise. I got an assignment for you guys. Come on, Captain. We're still overloaded from working the leads on the Murray's homicide. Don't worry about that, Wise. I gave that case over to Alvarez in Santiago. So get him up to speed and give him the list of leads you have. Captain, Alvarez and Santiago, seriously? Those two can't even figure out who stole Mary's sheep, let alone with the Murray's case. Wise, shift it over and no back talk. Look, I need you two in my office in 10. Price, get some coffee in you. You look like you got caught between a sledgehammer and a nail. And I'm gonna need your full attention. Oh! Why does she always do that? Every time we get a case, she throws something else at us. Yeah, I know, I know. Man, what we got? It's like some kind of witness for a high profile case. Babysitters? That's when we get put off the case for us to babysit? Are you serious? Listen, just calm down, okay? Let's just get the thing done and get it out the door. You know what, Lamont? This is it. This is the last time. I'm tired. Listen, guys, change your plans. Wise, 
You stay on the case with Alvarez and Santiago. Huh? You heard me. Price, you take that case alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute, Captain. It's one thing for you to pull us off an assignment, but to separate us, that's something different. What's the deal? Well, why is the deal is that was a direct order. It wasn't a suggestion or a statement needing your opinion. Captain, in the last 10 years of us being partners, we have never worked a case separately. Wise, <laughs> you still talking? All I want to hear from you is yes, Captain. Price, you read the file? Yeah, I took a look at it. All right, good, because I need you up to speed. Close the door, Price. Price, this is Agent Russell and Agent Ridenour with the FBI. You'll be working with them on the case file I gave you and reporting to them till the assignment is over. Detective, have you had a chance to look over the case file yet? Yeah, I took a look at it. Uh, simple transport. Not, not ordinary, just drop off from one place to the other. Detective, due to leaks in the local police departments, the file that you possess, it only provides general details in the case. Okay. What is going on, Agent? Captain, you can't take a chance on local authorities gaining access to any files. So basically, we send out a general case file and the rest we inform in person. That way, if there is a leak from this office, we'll know it came from one of the four people in this room. Wait a minute. One of you needs to tell me what is going on. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. What is going on here? I tell you, you two have heard the Maserati crime family, have you not? Yeah, we've heard the Maserati crime family. I mean, they control most of the drug trade with the Colombians. They control the ports off the coast of Florida. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that family has ties throughout. And we've been fighting a trail of law enforcement agents sporting the old markings of a Colombian necktie. You're absolutely correct, Captain. And this is why we keep details of the case to a minimum. Leaks. We had more agents go down because of leaks. So, the agency puts a what we like to call need to know clause in effect. We sent out a general case file ahead of time to the local authorities on route, surveyed them for two weeks, then come down in person to deliver the rest of the case file. Wait a minute. Are you telling me the hussy in that chair has something to do with the Maserati family? <laughs> no way I'm letting one of my detectives get caught up in your federal Okay, case. hold on, Captain. Okay, listen. It's okay. I got this. No, Price. No. This is way out of your league. Captain, you came and put that file on my desk for a reason. Okay, let me handle this. I got this. Are you crazy? Price, this is not a local case. We're talking a mob family with political ties. Yeah, that that is case. all rumors. Mm, not so much, Detective Price. Look, we want to be very transparent here. We're well aware of the network the family has. So again, this is why the clause is in effect. Okay. So we're already in it now, Captain. All right, we're knee deep in it. We just, we, we take it on. <laughs> we take it on. Yeah, we take down the Maserati family. Okay. Agents, who is she? What are we dealing with? I'm sorry, Captain, but I can't tell you that. What I can tell you is that she's a witness against the family and that her testimony is vital in both breaking them down and the corrupt politicians involved. Look, Captain. No offense to you or your department, but the less you know, the far better off you are. Lamont, I don't like this one bit. It's okay. All right, I got this. Dick, Dick, wait. Look, for what it's worth, we're glad you're handling this for us. Yeah, with no offense, Agent, but I need to know what I'm dealing with here. It's not that simple. Plus, it's for your own safety. 
the less you know, the better. Won't you let me be the judge of that? Okay, you can just get yourself another babysitter. Easy, detective. We're both on the same side here. Really? Yes, really. <sighs> Look, we just want to keep this as a simple transform handoff. Simple. Let's see if it was that simple, then the FBI would not need our help. Detective, why are you so adamant on knowing more about the witness? Let's just say I'd like to know what's coming at me, man. Trust me, detective. The Bureau will look at this as a favor, and we repay our favors. Think of the benefits. You can save your benefits. Relax, detective. Fine. So what's the move? The transport will start in the morning. In the meantime, just stay here in the interrogation room. So that's all I understand. Okay, why the interrogation room and not a cell? The Bureau has eyes and ears in that room. Plus, we've heard that over the past few months, the inmates here have had untimely accidents happen. Fine. The informant is safe and secure? Good. Detective, Captain's waiting for you in the interrogation room. All right, appreciate it. Detective, one last thing. Is there a decent place around here that shares good food? Yeah, Joanne's, it's only four hour diner. You take a left out of the park on right. Straight up the block, can miss Got it, thank you. We'll see you in the morning with the transport papers. your wife, Charlotte. What do you know about my wife? You know, time is of the essence, detective. Like murders that happen, let's say, 45 minutes on the hour. <laughs> well, could you look at that? I guess the game is all here. Shut up. Shut up. See me. 